Live from the U.S. Capitol, where there is an active bomb threat underway. Police units are still responding from all over the city. FBI, Capitol Police, D.C. Police, D.C. Fire Department, Homeland Security. We can't get much closer. We'll across the street when the light changes. Uh, the bomb, it's the bomb, suspected bomb is up by the Library of Congress, which is a few blocks up the road here. Um, <coughs> more police. We see special operations units, bomb squads, pretty much everybody and their cousin is up here. All right, got the light. Now the bombers, the suspected bombers, way up there. They've got. This is the foreign media zone. Guys, it's very, very sunny, and it's going to be very hard to read your comments. I'll do my best, but please don't get offended if I don't reply to you guys, because it's, it's hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak around back. I think that's my best, best chance to get closer. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can get behind the building, yeah? The uh, location is pretty far. A Toyota pickup you guys are getting? They said he had a detonator in his hand or possible. The man was holding a detonator. They were trying to assess that. Um, heard reports that there was uh, snipers being called in. Let's see if we can swing down this road and get a little bit closer. This road is going to be closed as well. Let's see what view we can get though from down here, okay? They said there was a suspect. Uh, yeah, there was a person in the truck. I'm getting garbled information as you guys are. That's just how it is in these situations. You'll get bits and pieces. Oh, the memorial blocks the view. Coning up the street. That's all the fire department responses over there. Um, where can we head next? I can go up, but I have to go up. Uh, I can't. I can't get up that side of the Capitol. We're, we're actually really cut off. I think we're going to have to go back over there. Oh, crap. <laughs> so we're going to have to go back around. I just realized I'm on a scooter, yeah? And uh, I should have ended my scooter before I started this live stream. <laughs> I'm going to be paying for this scooter. <laughs> as long as I'm on live, I'm going to be paying for this scooter. That kind of sucks. All right, let's get back over here. Maybe we can put the uh, the zoom lens on. Yeah. Yep, I'm putting up barriers here. Yeah, this is going to be an expensive broadcast, guys. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's all the fire trucks. We dumped the scooter somehow. No, it's not that I, I, I just have to stop using this one.
Can I pause the YouTube? Guys, if I get disconnected, I will be right back. So guys, if you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe. But if I get disconnected, I'm going to be right back and get rid of the scooter. Otherwise, this is going to cost me like a dollar a minute or something crazy. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's try to give it a kill. It. Are we still here? Okay, I think I, I think it stayed. I think it worked. We're back. Okay, hey, so that worked. We were able to ditch the scooter. Sorry about the disconnect for some of you, but uh, we're still live. Success. Yeah, it is success. Let's uh, let's cross over here and let's see if we can set up you know, our big lens. So they're blocking them. This is uh, this is the Health and Human Services, oh, okay. and they're sealing this area off. This is Homeland Security Police securing off this area. Let me see what I can do. Let's see if we can go online. Putting on the uh, zoom lens, uh, it's not taking it. All right, we'll take it off the zoom lens. That didn't work. Is Epic Gamer here? You guys should be offline. So this is the DC Fire Department response. If I had my own scooter, I'd have to like park it and everything, and it'd probably get stolen. I walked by. This has been going on for about an hour. Uh, we got an alert that there was a bomb scare, which to be honest, we get an alert there's a bomb scare pretty much every day. And, uh, but then we got a second alert an hour later saying this is now an active bomb threat. And we're just like, uh, okay. So apparently there's a Toyota pickup truck parked next to the Library of Congress and the Cannon House office building with a man in it who may be holding a detonator. And they've evacuated the Cannon building and the Library of Congress of staff. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. Let me, let's see if we can get the lens on again. So we're trying to put a tele, there we go. So this is an 18X telephoto lens which is going to be a bit jittery. Let me see if I can take a video. Too jittery, too jittery. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Man, it's hot. Hmm. Not sure how I can get closer. I needed. I have a tripod, but it's just such a bear to set up and everything. Let me grab out my other camera. Mm. Sorry about this. You're getting a view of the capital.
Do you know how many SD cards I have to go through to bring you this coverage? It's absolutely crazy sometimes. the local news. Hey, thanks for that donation. I'll either pay for my scooter or buy a homeless guy some lunch. Usually I buy homeless guys lunch. It's more fun that way. So these are uh, special operations units, DC police. And we have over here the Homeland Security Police, which is the Federal Protective Service. Back there is the Metro, the, the bus system. They had to reroute all of their buses. And then DC cops out here. bringing in uh, explosives ordnance, boats, uh, bomb teams, so forth, uh, to try and uh, defuse any potential device. Uh, but as we've been saying all along, we don't know if there's actually a real device there or not. But in these kinds of situations... Car folks, coming. I can't see the truck from here. The truck is way up over the hill. And I can't really... I can try to get a little closer if you want, but I mean, for me to get closer means I've got to walk. Oh, here comes another bomb unit. That's an FBI vehicle. So that was the FBI arriving. Eric was mentioning, you know, the pipe bomber landed two explosive pipe bombs that were potentially real and capable of exploding at the Democratic National Committee and at the Republican National Committee. some more. Capitol Police. More FBI guys coming. There's a bomb. FBI's coming. security police so that was the FBI basically several of those vehicles they flashed FBI credentials so this is the Rayburn building the next building up is the Longworth and then the next building at the very top is the Cannon building and that that is where we think the package has been placed.
way up at the top of that hill. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, you might want to subscribe in case I get disconnected. That way you'll know if I come back online. I broadcast every day from Washington. I'll show you motorcades, helicopters, stuff like that. It's not every day we get a bomb threat, but we try to cover them when we do. Yeah. Yeah, they're out of session right now. There's nobody up there. There's no, like, congressman up there that we know of. Boy, it is hot. Let's see if I can get a better view over here. So I can try. Here's the thing. For me to get closer, I literally have to walk all the way over to the Senate side, all the way back behind the Supreme Court, on all the way back. We're talking a distance of about two miles. It would take me about a half hour to 40 minutes to get closer than I am right now. I can't go this way. This way, I believe, is cut off. There's no way to cross. The police have blocked the roads over there. I can't get down around the Capitol on that direction, which is what I tried to do earlier on the scooter. But this seems to be a pretty good location. I think the fire trucks are all here. If you haven't seen those, they're all up right there. Let me try to film them again. So there's the fire trucks. So if there's something, you know, they would roll up the road, I think. The stop barriers have been deployed. You know, the whole road is blocked off due to those barriers that popped up on the other side of the fire trucks. Yeah, we just saw the FBI pass us. I'm going to keep broadcasting, but I will tell you, my phone is getting hot. I'm going to have to kind of hide in the shade here for a bit. Because uh, the phone can only handle so much heat before it overheats. It's another one of those FBI vehicles. The gray glass building. Oh, that's the botanical gardens. That's the U.S. Capitol Botanical Gardens, right in front of us. Um, that's it's like a it's a greenhouse basically. It's actually quite pretty inside. And thank you for your donation. I'm gonna use that to buy some homeless guy lunch. I I don't normally ask for donations. Um, I just I usually just give the money to the homeless because, well, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. There's apparently a guy in a Toyota pickup truck with a possible bomb and a possible detonator. Now, you guys, to be honest, are getting better noise than better news than me because I'm like having to do that. I should put something around that. Yeah, the Botanical Gardens is quite pretty. Whew. You know, now that I'm propped up here. I could, I could put the telephoto lens on again. Do you guys want to do that again? It's going to get blurry momentarily. It'll just be blurry. It's like the doctor's office, yeah? Just blurry for a second. There you go. Now let's see what we can get up here. So there you can see the fire trucks, Capitol Police. That's the DC Fire Special Operations Chief. I've got an ambulance, and it's it's farther up there. So take the lens off. There you go. Can you add a map later? Maybe I could. Right now, uh, for those of you who are on Google Maps, I am on Third and Independence Southwest. 
3rd and Independence Southwest. Uh, the suspect vehicle is at 1st and Independence Southeast. So it's a distance of about four blocks, four blocks from here. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I make you videos from DC every day like this. Well, it's not every day we have a bomb scare, but we do bring you around DC. I also have a second channel, Penguin 6 Shorts, where we caught uh, the vice president actually waved at us today. At least I think it was her hand. Talk to the hand, not the man. Yeah, stabilization. I mean, I'm propped up against a street sign. I have a tripod, but uh, it's kind of tricky to get that in out. What I really need is a nice new camera, but I'm waiting for Canon to release the uh, their new phone, their new camera, sometime this year. Oh, they brought the dogs out. They're starting to search over here with dogs now. Precautionary bomb search with dogs over here. Capitol Police. Well, the Capitol is there. And then if you go across the street is the Cannon Building. And that's where the bomb is, supposedly. You can't... You, you, can't, you can't drive to the Capitol itself. You want me to hold it? Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah, you could try. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you, sir. No worries. So they were filming the uh, police line video, but they couldn't get it because the wind was blowing it, so I manipulated the media. <laughs> See that video later, it'll be a little bit different. There's a few guys set up on New Jersey. I'm sorry? There's a couple guys set up on New Jersey. New Jersey and D. But I can't I can't get there from here. They're, they've been sending me photos. Okay, okay. Just go into the tape. Yeah. <laughs> I'll roll on it. Yeah. I'll give you something to film. So if you're just joining, there is a vehicle uh, by the Cannon House Office Building, which is three blocks up the street, separate next to the Library of Congress. And it is suspected to have an explosive in it and possibly a suspect with a detonator. Uh, police negotiation, the FBI, everybody is here trying to deal with what they consider to be an active bomb threat, not a, uh, not just a suspicious package, but an active bomb threat. So, we're out here, this is one of several media throws that have been set up, the media are restricted so they, this is mostly foreign journalists over here um, reuters is here the local channel 9 is here study cbs
Let's, um, guys, let's see if I can, I'm going to go down a block and see if I can get closer. I might be able to get closer over here because those tourists just came and those tourists there are walking down towards the U.S. Capitol. So what do you think? Let's try to get closer. I'm up for it. So they do have this road blocked to vehicles, but it looks like people are still being allowed to walk to the reflecting pool, which is over here. So there's the U.S. Capitol. So this is the U.S. Capitol. And there's all the food trucks you see me eat every day. And let's see how close we can get, yeah? Let's just keep walking until we get yelled at. Does that sound like a good plan? So we're just gonna walk uh, until some cop yells at us, and then when they yell at us, then we'll say, oh, sorry, I didn't know. I'm just a tourist from Arkansas. <laughs> get away with something, yeah? I think I owe myself ice cream after this. I mean, what is the most touristy state to be from? Arkansas? That's, I mean, it's like, sounds like it's like so far away. It's believable though, you could get to Arkansas in a day. Wisconsin, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. My uncle has a dairy farm in Wisconsin. I'm a tourist here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You know what? We're going to get a lot closer. <laughs> to be honest, most of these people don't know what's going on. Now, I think... I wonder if I could go in the botanical gardens. Yeah. They're going to the gardens. We'll try that if we get blocked. <laughs> now there's nobody on the Capitol grounds, but there's no police stopping anyone. There is police over here. See if we can see the fire trucks again. Now the police are over here. They've got this section blocked off. They're blowing whistles. We can sneak over here. Uh, I don't know if this is open, because if this is open, I can go to the windows and film out the window. Let's just see how close we can get around the U.S. Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens are closed. Mm -hmm. That's the Rayburn building. Fire trucks are out here. That's a dead end. There's a big barrier there. Hello guys, yeah, so 
we're gonna make our way back to where we were. I can't, yeah, they're blowing whistles. They love their little whistles. So let's, all outdoor gardens are open. No, they're not. So we're gonna have to go back to where we were. Sorry about that, guys. So we're gonna go back to the press gathering. We tried to sneak around. There's a, they were already closed off down there. So that section's closed. They're responding. There's more fire trucks over on that side and they're towing cars over there. They got a bunch of DC tow trucks yanking cars over there. That's on the Senate side. Maybe they're just precautionary towing cars. Glad I parked far away today. So we're gonna go loop around and we'll give you another view from the press gallery in about two minutes. It's gonna take me to get back to where we just were. Uh, I'm Penguin Six. I show you Washington DC every day. So feel free to subscribe. I show you motorcades, Marine One, Air Force One, and usually my lunch. I don't wanna have for lunch today. Tell you, these ice cream trucks are calling you. Know, hot dog, that siren sound. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. If you donate money, I'm just gonna buy lunch for the homeless with it. I don't, I don't ask for your money. I got enough of that. So if you do donate, it's just gonna go to some homeless guy that I find, but not as cash. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go around the block and film from 3rd and Independence Southwest. I'm on 3rd and Maryland Southwest right now, so I only have about a half a block walk. But if you want to follow on Google Maps, the suspected package is at 1st and Independence Southeast, which means it's about four blocks from my location up on top of Capitol Hill. Oh, let's, there's some more Capitol Police. So we're gonna go back to the press center. What's interesting is you're gonna see a lot of these uh, media folks have nothing more than an iPhone. And these are foreign correspondents for other countries media sites and they just use an iPhone to file their reports. Oh. A couple of new fire trucks. over to a it's hot I made it behind the botanical gardens in the last minute they saw me <laughs> what's that I made it all the way to the botanical gardens behind. They, oh, yeah. That was an opening. But... So I just got to update. They're talking to the suspect with a whiteboard. Negotiators are writing on a whiteboard and sending him messages. That just came on one of my scanner updates. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we can't see that, unfortunately. That whole, that whole section is blocked off to us. So I think what you have up there is a hazmat unit, a ladder unit, an engine unit, a rescue squad, a special operations unit, and an ambulance. That's what I could make out on the DC Fire Department response. For those who haven't subscribed, feel free to click the subscribe button. I make videos every day. I'm not sure what I'm going to make today, though, because I did go live. I just got my silver play button notification, too. You guys were asking. I finally got my award, 100,000 subs. Thank you, guys. I'm going to get a big silver plaque to gather dust on my wall. Yeah, they got like a whiteboard or something, and they're writing on the whiteboard, and that's how they're talking to the guy. I, I guess he's having some issues. So this, what you're looking at, those fire trucks are at um, First Street Southwest. And the Southwest vehicle is First Street Southeast, a distance of about three big blocks. I mean, if he wanted to blow it up, he could have just blown it up, but I think he wants to talk. You guys getting a press conference? Oh, there goes the fire truck. Engine three and rescue squad one. Yeah, repositioning fire truck. Some of you might be listening to a press conference live. I think they might be covering it live on the mainstream media now. <sighs> He's gonna blow us up with pillows? Right now I am at first I know I'm at 3rd and Independence Southwest in Washington, D.C., just down from the U.S. Capitol building, four blocks up the road at 1st and Independence Southeast. There is a man with a truck with a possible explosive and a detonator. He is in communication with the police via a whiteboard that we're hearing. And Kenneth does not know the frequency. I am not Dan Rather. Ooh, it's hot. I'm trying to get updates. Yeah, that's right, Sean. That was a uh, what is that? The hazmat in? Yeah, that's DC Hazmat 1. More DC, oh, there's the police chief coming in. We all wanted to say that, you know, there has been information that is uh, So that was, uh, you saw the stars on the car? That was the DC police chief. Uh, 
ننتظر المزيد من من التفاصيل التي تستطيع لنا الشرطه التي قادت ان ما زالت تفاوض الرجل فاير تركس ار موفينج Are they redeploying? It's over. It's on Fox. I'm zoomed in pretty much as much as I can zoom. The suspect vehicle is at the top of the hill. Look at this guy, he's just walking down the street. <laughs> it's so hot. I can't say clearing. I do have a scope for the iPhone, but it's uh, it's tricky. Do you guys want me to put the scope back on again? Scope it. Okay. Get this set up. It's gonna it's gonna be blurry for a moment. Ah, that didn't work. Sometimes I just pop it right on. Sometimes I gotta sometimes I just gotta jiggle the dang thing. There we go. Come on. You know what? I need to buy a new scope. This one's just too annoying. All right, you guys are all going blind. I'm going blind. <laughs> so the scope is a little bit out of whack. It's only been dropped from my bike like 10 times. I give up. I give up. We'll do it another time. Sorry, guys. Yeah, not helpful. Driving you guys nuts. Most of you are now throwing up, probably. I was watching this YouTuber, and he kept making me dizzy. Yeah, I'm pretty far away. So unless this is a tactical nuke, I'm not that worried. Whoa, 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 what was that? So what are you guys getting any news on the mainstream media? She had a badge. She's got badges. Nothing really on CNN. I'm sure it's on Twitter. Still negotiating, oh boy.
I don't know. I, I've got a gimbal, this not on this phone. There's a lot of construction going on up there. So I, I have been filming with my gim, my DJI Osmo gimbal camera, but it doesn't have much of a zoom. So it's not going to be that impressive. Some loudmouth tourists coming. Can you prop it up on the car? I thought about doing that, but the cops would get kind of eh. There's like a uh, cement cement thing I could put it on. Oh, some guys arguing with the cops. Hello. Uh, I can't check email right now, I'm sorry. He's talking with the police and has a detonator. Fire trucks are still there. They turned around. I guess they're in more of a uh, respond mode now. I don't know why they're there. From North Maryland. Okay, anti-government guy from North Carolina. Thank you, David or Daniel. CNN is now breaking. Oh, is that the hazmat unit going up now? No, he's just repositioning. Single person device in a Toyota pickup truck. Now we're learning he's from North Carolina, has made anti-government statements, white male. I am not in danger at this area. Um, pretty far away. Hello, happy greetings. For those who don't know, I'm Penguin 6. I show you Washington, D.C. pretty much every day, so feel free to follow me. Oh, he has a propane tank in the truck. David, thank you for the updates. Propane, it would have to be a really big propane truck for me to be in danger. So feel free to follow if you want more coverage from Washington, D.C. every day. Get a hankering for a hot dog. Of course, you know, I get a hankering for a hot dog pretty much every day. So this is the media center. This is one of four, I think, that I've heard of. There's three or four of these media setups. Um, the problem is, is that they've closed off everything around the Capitol and it creates like a giant blockage. So like for me to get from this part of the city to that part of the city is now basically impossible unless I go down like a mile or then cut over a mile and come back up. It would just take forever. Uh, so I don't think that can be done. Chili dog, yeah, hot dogs. There's a bunch of hot dog vendors over there. Oh, I didn't bring any cash. Oh well, some of them take credit cards. When you pay by credit card, they actually challenge you sales tax. When you pay by cash, they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll fill out the we'll fill out the receipt for the cash payments later. You're welcome. We do live streams when news warrants it. I tried to do a live stream the other night for that late night motorcade, but the problem is, one of the vehicles in the motorcade has an IED disruptor or something that just scrambles your phone 
So like when you're doing a live stream and a motorcade comes by, you get disconnected. Because, and it's always like the same vehicle goes by and then suddenly you lose your, your mobile phone service. It's like, okay, well, vehicles. I don't know where he's going. Known to law enforcement. I have a speeding ticket. Does that mean I'm known to law enforcement? I mean, technically. Technically, it does. Okay, so that one cop car we just saw, he just went flying up uh, Independence Avenue. Pizza would be good. I'm hearing more sirens coming this way. I don't have any updates. I'm actually relying on you guys for updates because I'm only able to update you know, what I see, which is not much. We've got some police cars coming from some direction, I think, over there. The FBI is on the scene. We saw FBI vehicles enter about a half hour ago. Um, Oh, that is the FBI. The sirens are FBI bomb trucks. I think they're coming this way. Maybe. There are these black pickup trucks. Nope, they went onto the freeway. So it looks like the FBI guys going back to their office. Here comes another DC fire commander. It's probably the DC fire chief. EMS supervisor. Italian chief EMS. Oh, there's the FBI trucks down there.
<laughs> so, more police. SOD means Special Operations Division. That's the, these police cars are SOD police cars. So I'm Penguin 6, I show you Washington every day. Uh, today we are at the grounds of the US Capitol. This is the Rayburn Building. The next flag up is Longworth, and the final flag is the Cannon Building. Now the Cannon Building has been evacuated along with the Library of Congress, which is just the other side of the street. We can't see it right now. The vehicle is believed to be between the Cannon Building and the Library of Congress. So it's that last flag that you see, just the other side of that last flag, that's where we believe the suspect vehicle is located. Ah. Let's uh, slide over. at Channel 9. Whew. Uh, the chief of police spoke. Still negotiating. Thank you for the updates. I was told the snipers were deployed. Hey, thank you for the silver plaque. Congratulations. We'll have that uh, unboxing in a couple weeks when that arrives from YouTube Command. You want a 360 camera? Here we go. Mm -hmm. 360. Because then my face was on. Oh, this is an FBI car. Italian fire chief. Hey, no problem. Oh, wow. All right, you have to have a good one. All right. I call and I have the MTCR. So these guys are all That's using live use solos. Oh, yeah. These things are awesome, but they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. Here comes. I think that makes you eligible for canonization. One more. Yeah, you gotta get so that credential was FBI. That was another FBI guy. And that was the DC bomb squad with the dogs. So the black one was FBI. Most of the black cars that have gone by have been FBI. So the dogs are now making their way up Independence Avenue, up Capitol Hill, the dog squad that just came through. Yeah, 
guys at Josh and with the cops. It's pretty boring from down here. I can't get much closer though. We've tried once or twice. So, so what do you guys think? You guys want to keep watching or should I go get a hot dog? Or do you guys want to watch me get a hot dog? Keep watching, hot dog. Drones are illegal, unfortunately. We could walk over and get a hot dog. Who's this guy? He's got slushies. Pizza sounds good, too. There's a man with a bomb. Oh. They start negotiating. In the garden? Oh, no, up at the Library of Congress. He's got a bomb in a car. They're negotiating with him. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. Bomb. There's a guy with a bomb. Library of Congress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're kind of at Because we were, we were just at the, we were at the other museums in the last few days and they were like, it's very sexual, like that passive. And today they're like super strict. Very everything, nice. everything. She made me open my pizza bag. Like, yeah. It was very thorough. Yeah, you, you, to be honest, you're heading towards a dead end, kind of, because unless you're, if you're trying to go that way, it's all blocked off. Yeah, we were trying to go here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening today. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully everybody. There's a stay. new memorial right down there, that next red light, the Eisenhower Memorial. It just oh, opened. Right. Outdoor? It. Yeah, it's right there. It's oh, okay. uh, where that green light is. Yeah. Yeah, that just opened about. Six months ago. Okay, so, we could try that. Thank you for your something. <laughs> Trying to help the tourists. All right, tell you what, we're gonna walk in. We're getting a hot dog, and we'll come right back with said hot dog. Yeah, sound like a plan, guys? Let's go get a hot dog, and then come back. We'll keep showing you. Oh, we've got. Oh, here comes the bomb truck. Hang on. You guys are gonna want to film this. The bomb truck. The big bomb truck is coming. Yeah, what? It's the big explosive container thing. Oh, really? Times Square in New York? Yeah. You want to film this? That's the bomb containment vehicle. Oh. You put it inside there, it, it, if it detonates, it's it doesn't. Like a it's yeah, it's like a cement mixer, yeah, but but for bombs. <laughs> sure. So someone just reported Times Square is being shut down too. I just got, they, those guys told me that they're getting reports Times Square has been locked down. 
but maybe just precautionary. That that crew over there. Oh, you're saying Concord. New York, I guess. Lock. Is there another threat? There? There's probably a false alarm. I don't know. I'm not getting many updates. <laughs> Park, please. All right, so we're slightly delayed on getting a hot dog while the uh, Let's go up there. the explosive <laughs> containment vehicle has just arrived. Yeah, try to help these guys out. They're making money filming, and if they don't catch this, then, well, they look bad. They, it goes around and comes around, though, because they tell me stuff, too, you know? This is the press vehicle of choice. <laughs> this is the best way to get around sometimes. It really is. <laughs> Maybe not in the heat, but... Yeah. No, 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 you can get the electric ones, but... <laughs> but you can get through a lot of places, eh? Alright, it's a hot dog break. Okay, so we're going to take a hot dog break. They're still negotiating. And then, oh, there's a hot dog right here. We don't have to go very far. I hope they take credit. Watch, he only takes like Venmo. I don't think I have any cash today. I don't really go out with cash very often. Got it. It is really hot. see what he's got. Ice cream man, yeah. Hi. You take card? A uh, hot dog and a Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke, whatever. Or just a uh, Diet Pepsi. And a hot dog. It is Christmas music, isn't it? No, that's weird. Must be on some sort of evil loop. This is the kind of stuff mainstream media doesn't show you, like their hot dog, hot dog breaks. Okay, yeah. There's a man on the Capitol with a bomb threatening to blow up uh, by the Library of Congress. So it's going to be closed for a while. But uh, crazy day. Okay, so how can we do all this? Hang on a second. Hmm. Ah, oh, that was good. Uh, six bucks. Oh. I'm not a big mustard guy. I do mustard on burgers. But not hot dogs. So the tourists were telling me all the museums have upped up. 
Second to 4th Street Southeast. Holy cow. They're now evacuating four city blocks. Mm. So they're now evacuating 2nd Street to 4th Street from Independence to A. I'll go down a little bit farther. <coughs> mm. You know, the best hot dog I ever had was a Danish hot dog. Danish hot dogs. They have like fried onions, like really crunchy fried onions. <laughs> and uh, it's made a little different. So like, when we were at Lego World in Denmark, which you have to take, they have to go, they had like the most amazing hot dogs. Ugh. Man with a bomb. What? Man with a bomb. Really? Yeah. What's with the bomb? A man has a bomb up at oh. the Library of Congress. That's where we're heading. Oh, my. You're not in there today. No. Okay. Never mind. Oh, my we're my not. So they canceled the museum and this. Oh, yeah. There should. It's actually a lot cooler right here in the shade. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a nice. <laughs> you just step down a step. Little break. It's so so. Oh, you found the one shade spot in the entire block. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, yeah, you, no, I got. Oh. You might want to set up right here. I'm yeah, serious. You can't see. Oh, it. you can't oh, get over. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. See the top of the hill there. Yeah. 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 Like the 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 top. Oh yeah, I've been trying to. That block is where the. They just clip. You see where I parked? I'm over in the shade. Make sure you just stay low because Royers is here and I. Oh, that's Royers. Yeah, we kind of. Yeah, we kind of. You sure? That's your man right here. We were, we were the first two, so we kind of... They, yeah. they just cleared 2nd to 4th Street. Huh? They're just evacuating 2nd to 4th. Oh, between well, on the other side? Yeah, everything. It's like tune in, the hawk and dove. It's a pretty good radius. Yeah. Yeah, make my debut across the world. Other side. You said they evacuated second and fourth? Between second and fourth and independence and A. That's the report I just got on Citizen. Okay, thank so, you. It's Citizen, so, you know, yeah. grain, grain of salt. coming out. Whew, gotta been out for an hour. I'm afraid I'm gonna eventually run out of battery. <laughs> By the way, thank you for the donations, those of you who donated. I don't need your money, I don't need it. I usually uh, spend it on homeless people, so next time you see me feed a homeless person, that's pretty much where your money went. Uh, 
I don't need the donations. But I appreciate it anyway. It's a nice thought. Oof. Yeah, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. My hot dog. <laughs> I've actually got a battery, but I'd have to unplug the microphone, and then you would get this horrible wind noise. It is very windy out here, which is, thank God, is like the only cooling off we get. Guess we're gonna have to dump the mic. Another group of fire trucks coming. Might be related. Could just be a fire alarm. Could be. So DC fires coming down the street at quite a clip. Rescue squad. Oh, this might be, this could be a hazmat unit from Fort Myer. This could be one of the U.S. Army bases sending over their, their units in a mutual assist. Or it could just be a fire truck. Couple fire. Oh, it's the foam. Is it the foam units? Nope. Engine five. Oh, it's the uh, the donut truck. That is the fireman. <laughs> it's, it's getting real now. That's the donut truck has arrived. <laughs> They repositioning? Are you just? They, they want me to go shoot B-roll. Like, B-roll? What? They're, this is all we got. <laughs> I'm told that uh, SWAT is down at Maryland and D, so they got a bunch of black trucks down there with. What's that now? SWAT is down at Maryland and D, uh, South Maryland and D uh, South East. No, I'm sorry, New Jersey. New Jersey, New Jersey yeah. and D Southeast is where 
SWAT has set up. So they've got their big commando trucks down there. But that's the only B roll well, I saw. You can, you can see the command thing. You go over a little over it, yeah. They, and then they just said they evacuated second to fourth and between Independence and A. So that would be like all the way out to Hawk and Dove or Tune In or whatever. I mean, that's. I find it kind of curious that they brought the bomb disposal. Yeah, the big. I, I think it's. Hey, they're suspicious. I hope it's just a precautionary thing. Is that the solo? What's that? Is that the solo? Yeah. Or the 8,000? Oh, the 300. Oh. This is a 300. Yeah, they just, I just got an email. They had like, there's a 5G one out. Oh, or, really? Or 5G's coming with that. It's going to be a 4K, 5G modems, but I mean, I don't even want to look at the price. <laughs> all I know is the younger guys can have all those big ones. I'll yeah. carry this any day of the week. And yeah. I got a battery adapter for it, and it's like, I could run for a week off of that. Yeah. It's it, it's a fun toy. Oh, yeah. I, I try to, to make this all that I use. Yeah. Oh, another ambulance. I'm getting too old for this crap. <laughs> especially, especially this sun. Especially when it's 100 degrees outside. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Last I heard, they were negotiating with a whiteboard, via whiteboard. Um, Guy from North Carolina. So, what's going on here? They have, oh, I, you know what it is? They brought the donuts in. Now yeah. all the cops are coming here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's probably true. Sad but true. Uh, Uh oh, donut truck redeploying. All I know is they're pulling me out of here, which means I'm not going to get stuck here. Yeah, you can be here all day. That's what we were speculating. All the police showed up because the donut truck showed up. Ah. Let me see if I can get a battery going. That was the K9 unit. I was with the uh, bomb squad. Okay, so what should we do? Should we go reposition? Try to get a better view? Most of the media is departing. Okay, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I'm going to reposition. I'm going to recharge my phone, reposition. Uh, we'll try to come back live uh, on the other side. It's going to take me about 20 or 30 minutes to get over there. And uh, if there's something going on, we will come back live. If you're subscribed and have notifications on, you'll get a notification. And uh, has ammunition. Yeah, there are no helicopters. Interesting point. I think that would probably just aggravate the situation. So we're going to bail. It's, it is incredibly hot. All right. OK, guys, we're going to reposition. If you're subscribed, you'll get a notification. If not, just search YouTube in about 20 or so minutes. I'm going to recharge batteries and try to get back online again from the other side. All right, see you then. Bye bye.